Hi, it's Raylene again. Today is day 14 of my Daniel past. Yesterday I said day 12 and it was actually day 13. Um, but yeah, it's day 14 and today was a good day. Today I was reminded of why I'm doing this. Um, I was praying for a friend and she's going through not exactly the same kind of spiritual battle but something similar. And um, I saw the pain in her eyes that are in my own. I recognized it and I knew this is not for me. I'm doing this and she knows what I'm doing and she knows the reasons why I'm doing it. And I'm praying that through me she will get encouragement. That she will know if Raylene can overcome her battle, I can overcome mine. Because at the end of the day, we are victorious because Christ is victorious. God is victorious. And he has placed within us the spirit of a champion. You know, a victorious spirit. So it's just amazing how God works. And how today I was confronted. I was in a situation that would that when back in the day I would call out to God regarding this area that I'm praying for and ask him why. And today that happened and I said, No, I don't accept this. And um, I believe it was okay. <laughs> um, I got out of that situation and it was good. Um, yeah, I really just wanna say that I'm amazed by where I am today. A week ago I was still so so, but a week later, I'm looking at my relationship with God and how it's increased, especially in the past week, and I'm amazed. You know, if everything's said and done, this fast is over, and the only thing that I got out of it was a better relationship with God, then it was worth it. But I know that my fight is a spiritual battle, and I know God is fighting on my behalf. But I'm praying and fasting because I know that... Um, it's a big thing. That when it comes into fulfillment, the devil's going to shake. I mean, he's already shaking now. That's why he's coming against me in all areas. I mean, he's come against me using my friends, my family. He's come, um, come against me using my job, um, finances, the works. He's trying his best. And today he used my car. And um, I was just like, no, I'm not going to be shaken by this. Yes, it will it will come against me, there will be things, and I'll have to handle it one at a time, I can't say that tomorrow I'm going to be faced with a situation, I'm going to handle it perfectly, I might be faced with a situation, and I will not be, and I might fail at that situation, but um, I know that God is for me, I know He's with me, I know He's guiding me, I really just pray that um, through all of this, you know, somebody's life will change drastically, you know, um, if I do all this for myself, then I'm wasting my time, because this is not about me, yes, my desire wants to be fulfilled, but I don't want my desire to be fulfilled if it means God's kingdom is then neglected, so I want this desire to be fulfilled, because it will fulfill God's plan for me in his kingdom, that's what I want, I know that sometimes when God gives us our desires and gives us what we need, people tend to disappear from God and they leave God and they forget about God, I don't want that, that's my prayer, that when I get my breakthrough, and it's one of these days, um, and I get that, that God will still be number one in my life, that I will not forget, I, I think of all the people, because I've been barren in this area, I will be completely appreciative of what I have, and um, it's going to be amazing. It really is, and I can't wait for the lives that are going to be changed because of it. Um, I can't wait to see people's reactions, especially especially those who were doubting me and stopped believing in me and stopped believing with me. They're gonna be they're gonna be the ones, you know. I really pray not out of um, like smugness, but like they will be shaken in a sense that you know their mindset will be shaken. Like you thought it wasn't going to happen. But look, God moved. So stop thinking small. And start thinking that, you know, that God has a plan for every person. And just because it's not according to your plan doesn't mean it's not going to happen. I mean, my friend that was sharing with me her things today was confronted with the same situation um, publicly. And um, where someone basically put God in a box. 
and um, they basically reprimanded her because there's something wrong with her and um, it shouldn't be like that Um, people must stop being like that you know what it's got nothing to do with you regarding somebody else's life unless they tell you and they speak to you personally but don't assume things just because you got that area down and dusted early in your life just because you are not barren in that area doesn't mean that there are women who are or men who are not barren in that area you know just because you conquered that area maybe that's not the area you need to conquer um, you are battling your own battle so your battle in a, is a different area than that person's battle so don't judge someone just because they're not conquering in a certain area according to your timing because it's not about your timing it's about god's timing so please don't do that you know, and then i just want to leave with this encouragement you know um don't worry about tomorrow tomorrow's taken care of live today live for today forget about yesterday it's gone but live for today because if you don't live for today you're going to suffer tomorrow so yeah um there was something else i wanted to say about my remember maybe i'll remember for day 15 <laughs> but yeah one week left i'm really looking forward to what the next week holds um i think that the enemy is going to come against me i'm prepared i'm ready but because i know god is good god is with me he has not forsaken me and he does not take me where i cannot wait he does will not take me somewhere if he doesn't think i can handle it so yeah till tomorrow thanks